Welcome fellow Star Wars collectors to another episode of Beyond the Card Back. I'm Trooper TK314 and if this is your first time to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and use the fulls to hit that notification button so you don't miss any future content. Today we're taking a look at Han Solo and Carbonite throughout the years. <laughs> would be the first time we saw Han and Carbonite and that would be in the Empire Strikes Back line with the Boba Fett Slave One spaceship toy and he came as an accessory. Flash forward to 1996 and he would be reintroduced and a reuse as Kenner would always do in the Shadows of the Empire line and this is Han from that line and the original. Uh, this is the one I had from 1996 and for 23 years it's not looking too bad. Our next version of Han would be a 1984 Power of the Force line. This one actually showed Han with a thicker neck and the cool part about it was you could actually put Han Solo in the Carbonite. The Carbonite itself had a translucent front so it looked like Han was actually coming through the Carbonite or melting through it. It would be, an, it would be 12 years before we got another set with a Han Solo action figure and a Carbonite block and this one came out with the Power of the Force line and this one was in 1996 and this was the very first action figure I ever got for my 10th birthday in 1997 and he's an actually really detailed figure a lot better than the one we got in 1984. This is the carbonite block that he came in and the cool feature about this one was just like the 1984 you could put Han inside of him using the two clasps right here. You placed your figure, he snapped in, but that is a highly detailed, it's better looking than the 1984 version and for being 23 years old I'm surprised that the stickers are still on. In 1998 we also got another version of Han Solo from the Power of the Force line in the Jabba the Hutt's 3D diorama. This Han Solo featured an open front that had already melted off and the figure just laid inside the carbonite so it wasn't a solid piece uh, but it was a great counterpart to this Han in, in carbonite. In 2006, we would receive another version of Han Solo and Carbonite in the Saga Collection line. This one featured Han Solo's Carbonite with a red translucent front, which made the appearance that the Carbonite was melting. The figure was very nice and it was also very articulated. It would almost be another decade in 2015 before we received a Han Solo and Carbonite block again. This one in the black series of the three and three quarter inch scale. As Kenner and Hasbro always did, they reused things, and in 2019 they came out with Jabba the Hutt's Vintage Collection Palace. This one featured Han Solo's Carbonite block and an articulated Han Solo action figure. I've done a review on this set, go ahead and take a look at it if you would like, but with reuse in 2020 with the Star Wars Vintage Collection Boba Fett Slave 1, he also came as an accessory for that pack as well. The only difference between the two is the colors a little bit different on the 2020 Boba Fett and this one had a magnet so that it would stick to Jabba's palace walls. Last but not least is the latest version of Han Solo and Carbonite and it is the 2020 Star Wars Empire Strikes Back 40th Anniversary Han and Carbonite. And this is actually a reuse and repackage from the 2013 San Diego Comic-Con. Let's go on over to the figure review table and have a closer look. Here's a better look at the packaging. And as you can see, it has great artwork on the front. Unfortunately, the artwork is not from the movie it's representing, The Empire Strikes Back. It is from Return of the Jedi, which was the determining factor for me opening up this because I was thinking about keeping it in card back. But as you can see in the left-hand corner, you have the 40th Empire Strikes Back logo. And on the back, you have all of the other figures from this line, including the Luke Skywalker Bespin, which I did a review on. Let's go ahead and break Han out of his carbonite and get a closer look. And here he is out of the package, and he looks great. The detail is amazing. This is one of the most detailed that I've seen. Uh, this is very comparable to the vintage collection that I mentioned earlier that came with Jabba's Palace and Boba Fett's Slave One in 2020. The detail is just phenomenal. Let's go ahead and get a real close up look at the panels and the face. So as you can see the face and the detail is absolutely amazing. The creases, the weathering. That looks nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the power controls. That's very nice. 
and the paint detail is amazing. Very, very nice, very detailed. It looks wonderful. He also comes with this stand, which you can use to stand him up if you want to, or you can also lay him down and make it look like he's floating like he was in Cloud City. This concludes my review of the Han Solos and Carbonite throughout the years. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Beyond the Force. There's a link in the description below. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and may the Force be with you. Oh